All right, hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shadow. Now, a couple months ago, we did a video about the Disney Store Kylo Ren lightsaber, and we took that all apart, showed you the insides, and uh, we teased that we were gonna be doing um, a custom lightsaber build coming up on this channel. And you guys have been commenting, saying, when are you gonna do that? Oh, I wanna know about it, I wanna see it. Well, this is that video. This is part two of the, of the custom lightsaber build where we're gonna take a look at what electronics are actually going into this lightsaber. So we're gonna be using uh, a custom RGB LED and it's gonna be red. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, it's gonna be red because this is, a, this is gonna be an awesome dark side lightsaber. It's gonna be cool. So we're gonna have an RGB LED for that and we're gonna show you all the electronics coming up right now. So this is the RGB LED that we're gonna be using for the, the blade emitter for this lightsaber. Now, it, it actually is just RGB, so it has three different groups of contacts. It has three inputs, so one input will make it red, the other input will make it green, and another one will make it blue. The maximum current for this, so it can uh, handle up to 350 milliamps, and um, it's rated for three watts before this will just go up in a puff of smoke. So, um, what, we've have, what we have done to test this out is I have breadboarded a very simple little circuit and I've used this, uh, this ATX computer power supply here, which I have modded to be a, a bench power supply to output 12 volts to my breadboard here, where I then have uh, a 7805 voltage regulator, um, regulating that down to five volts. And I have this nice um, 12 ohm current limiting resistor in here. So we're only getting uh, about 340 milliamps actually going to the LED. So when I tested this, um, that was fine. It's like I said, it's, it's maximum rating is 350 milliamps. So um, that all worked out fine. So this is the main board from our Kylo Ren lightsaber. And um, it just takes a five volt input voltage. So we're using our 7805 voltage regulator to supply voltage um, through this switch. So this is this is like a three-stage switch. Um, so there's off, there's demo, and then there's full on. So we'll, we'll show you what each one of those does and, um, and how to hook it up. So the first thing we need to do is apply voltage to it. Now I've already got the positive terminal of the switch connected to the, the five volt uh, output of the regulator right here. So that'll be fine when we turn it on. And then for the negative, the negative battery contact is right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There's a little point of solder right there under my finger. And that's the negative contact for the battery. So we're just going to apply our, our negative side to directly to that. And then uh, we can demo what this is actually going to do. Now, there are two LEDs uh, with this. And um, I don't know if we'll actually be using these two LEDs for our actual build. Uh, with the new lightsaber. Um, if I had to guess right now, it's looking like we're probably gonna remove these LEDs and just keep the actual sound effects and stuff. But um, yeah, let's actually go ahead and take a look at what this does. So now you're gonna be hearing a little bit of additional noise in the background. And that's actually um, that's actually my power supply powering up. It's, it's an ATX computer power supply. So it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but it's just for a second while we're testing this out. So like I said, I've already got the positive five volts applied and we're about to apply um, our, our negative end right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'm, I'm touching the contact and now we're gonna turn it on. So now I've, I've moved it to the middle, so that's demo mode. And um, this is actually controlled by this other button over here. So when we push this button, It goes through its, its demo cycle. Now if I move this switch over all the way uh, and I go ahead and push this button, now it's just going to be on until I either push this button again or I could have just shut this switch off and it would have turned the whole thing off. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically how this is gonna work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the electronics in our custom lightsaber. So the next part is probably gonna be where we're actually building the handle for this lightsaber. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, go ahead and stick a like on it. And if you wanna see more of this series coming up, let me know that down in the comments and also like this video. So that's gonna do it 
for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.